Hi, my name is Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. I am an attorney here in Memphis, Tennessee, and I try to make at least one to two videos a week giving some legal information for people going through divorce and parents just like you who have lots of questions. I also teach the live mandatory parent education class at least six times a month. You can check that out at tnparentclass.com. So for today's legal topic, we are going to talk about five easy ways to keep track of your parenting time. The first and kind of the most easiest and the least expensive way is to trip trop over to the Dollar Tree or some sort of dollar store near you and pick up a calendar. It can have puppies or kittens or unicorns. We really don't care. Get one of those monthly calendars from the Dollar Tree and every time you're supposed to have parenting time, it's easy to mark that down on the calendar, but what we're talking about today is how to track your parenting time and see if you're getting more parenting time or less parenting time than what you agreed to in your Tennessee Permanent Parenting Plan. The Tennessee Permanent Parenting Plan is a form that you need to fill out and it goes along with your divorce and it sets your parenting time, which will be court ordered once the judge signs it, right? So you'll have that court ordered parenting time. So if you're in a situation where the other parent is constantly saying, oh, I don't have time this weekend, or oh, I really need you to keep our child for longer than what we've agreed to, just use that calendar and put an X or some sort of system. I think an X is really easy to just mark on there when your child was supposed to be with the other parent, but you ended up having parenting time. So once you do that over the course of a year and you figure out, wow, I've had a lot more parenting time this year, that may be a good time to send a notice to the other parent that you would like to modify your Tennessee Permanent Parenting Plan. The reason you would want to do that is because the parent who has that extra parenting time is providing meals and paying for all the expenses of having the child for those extra days every year. So use that X system on a Dollar Tree calendar. Let's talk about the second way. So another easy way to track that is maybe you just you have a planner, a regular planner and you need to keep real time track of your schedule and your parenting schedule in there and you can put notes in there and things like that. That will make it easy for you. If you do need to go back and ask the court to modify the parenting time, you'll have a written record, just like the Dollar Tree calendar, you'll have a written record of the times when you ended up having your child on a different schedule than what your parenting plan says. A third way, maybe you're not a pen and paper kind of person, is you can keep track of your parenting schedule on an app, a calendar app. I know there's one in iPhone. There are calendar apps in Google phones and all sorts of Android phones. You could also use a Google calendar or maybe you use Outlook, but that would be a way to track the times when you had your child, when you're supposed to have them, and then again, the times that you had them that Maybe that wasn't really a time when you had planned on having your child. Of course, you always love to spend time with your child, I know, but um, you need to make sure that you are keeping track of those extra days of parenting time that you have. A fourth way that you can keep track of that parenting time that other people are giving up is in, just in a basic Excel spreadsheet. You could also do that in open office, or I know that Apple has some software for that as well, but any sort of spreadsheet where you can track and you can put the date that you had your child that wasn't your parenting time and you can put the reason. And again, that would make a great exhibit for court if you needed to go back and do that. And it can save you a lot of time and expense later with your attorney if you kind of already have this pre-made exhibit just waiting for them. The fifth and final way that you may want to use to track your parenting time is through one of the apps, the parenting apps that we talk about during the parent education class. I don't have time today to go through all of those apps. I'll put a screenshot up here of some of the ones that we discuss. I will probably be doing a walkthrough of a lot of those apps over the next three or four months because it's one of the big questions that we get. But there are actually online parenting and co-parenting apps that allow you you to put in your calendar and to keep track of your parenting time in that way. 
One of the things that I would really like to make clear to you today is that it is not a bad thing to be flexible with your parenting schedule. If something comes up, let's say there's a wedding in your child's other side of their family or there's an important event that they would really like to attend, of course you're going to want to say, yes, that's in your child's best interest. But my recommendation would be instead of just giving up that parenting time is that you talk with the other parent and you trade that parenting time. So that might mean that you have two weeks in a row or two weekends in a row or something like that. I'm definitely not saying to not be flexible with your parenting time because at the end of the day the parents need to work together to do what is in the best interest of their child and things come up in life that your kid is going to be super excited to go to and you don't want to disappoint them so just make sure that you're trading that time instead of giving a lot of that time up it doesn't hurt you to give up you know a few days a year because next year maybe it'll be the other way in your favor if you have some questions about how you would like to divide parenting time, I have a video and I'm gonna link it down in the description below about how to divide 50-50 parenting time. It is possible in Tennessee now to be co-primary residential parents. That law changed in July of 2019. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you should take a look at that video. My final thought on parenting time is that if you find yourself in a situation where you are having a lot more parenting time than you originally agreed on, you need to consult your Tennessee Permanent Parenting Plan because there's actually a clause in there. It's more than halfway through the document. It's usually on page five or six, depending on what was added to your Tennessee Permanent Parenting Plan by the attorneys or the mediators. But there is a clause in there that lets you know that before you can petition to modify your parenting plan, you need to go to mediation first. A lot of times it's as simple as sending the other parent a letter, something in writing that says, hey, I've noticed that we haven't really been abiding by our parenting plan and I would like to go back to mediation and get a parenting plan that reflects what we're actually doing now. Because your child will change, their schedules will change as they get older, they will have different activities going on, someone may have moved, or there's a lot of different reasons why you need to modify. But you do need to consult your Tennessee permanent parenting plan and take a look at how you are supposed to notify the other parent. Sometimes it's by certified mail. So you need to look in there, see what box is checked, make sure you do that before you just run over to an attorney's office and say, hey, I need to modify this. Thank you for joining me today for the five ways that you can track your parenting time. If you have some other ways that you'd love to recommend to clients that watch this video, please give us some suggestions down below in the comment section. Or if you have a question about a certain app or something like that, put it in there and we will put it in the queue for a future review. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you can be notified every time we make more legal information videos like these.